Oh hey guys, it's me, Larry, and I'm wearing my summoner dog right now, cause we're going into unending coil of Bahamut Ultimate. So it starts off in Bahamut's hand, just like regular turn five. Enter Twintania! It's Twintania! <gasps> so fearsome! So the first phase of regular Twintania has you fighting these guys, yeah. In this version, they don't do, they don't do that. They start off with twisters. And the first thing she's going to do, this. Do you know what that is? That's a twister. And you know what twisters do? Like that. Just like that. To help you out with twister placement, I've created this simple diagram. And after that, make sure you stack in the center for the fireball. After all of that, there's going to be one guy running around the outside. Ah! Because Twintania is going to be shooting big fire pits at him. Don't put him in the center on other people. Don't don't be that guy. So he's a, he's a happy guy. And everybody else is happy because they're not dead. Yet. The devs even said, if you can't do this first part of the fight, just give up now because the rest of the fight's going to be way too hard. Just look at how excited he is. He's giggling with laughter knowing that everybody's going to die to this. But look at that shiny weapon. We need it. It's for glamour. It's important. But if you manage to get past all of this, you have something very special waiting for you. That's right. It's Nail Bit Saga! I probably shouldn't use this one as an example because it, it doesn't look this pretty in Unending Coil. It, it's the burned wasteland. At least I went in the Savage version though. Regular turn 9, as you start off like this, while Nail does some pokies at you. Unending Coil? No, we skip all that. She starts by dropping down Heaven's Fall on the party, followed by the pizza slices, while she's doing meteor rains on everybody. Then Dalamud dives on the tank, so don't stand by the tank. And immediately immediately starts doing fuck you hits on the tank. Next part of the fight, there's too much going on. I'll explain to you. You've got five dragons along the outside. Lightning dragons and ice dragons and fire dragons. Here's Nail. Oh, too big. There you go, that's better. Be smaller. Here's the party. They look kind of like grapes. You got fire tethers. You get stupid little ice things that shoot at everybody. You get lightning on two people. It's bad. They explode. You get doom. On three people, get stupid big YOE puddles that you gotta dodge. And after you dodge them, you cleanse the dooms in them. And then you have some cool RP you gotta read, like, you know, From on high I descend in blessed light to bask. Or, oh red moon, shine the path to conquest. And that basically means she's gonna do this. And this. And then you start back at Twintania. Now if you do manage to get past Twintania, here's a helpful diagram for the dive bombs. You need at least a mechanical engineering degree to be able to even position the way markers correctly, so make sure you go to school. Now this stage, this is what it looks like in Unending Koya, at least what we know so far. Except he doesn't start off like this. You wanna know how he starts in Unending Coil? They skip all this. You guys know this cutscene, right? Y you know, where uh, the moon explodes and a big dragon comes out and it kind of falls down on everybody in a big fiery explosion. It ended the game 1.0. Hey, you guys remember that, right? Yeah, that's how Bahamut comes in in this mode. He just kind of blows you up with a dollar mood. It's easy. You just gotta dodge it. They- they didn't dodge it. And then, you know, Bahamut just like summons Nail and Twintania, throwing fires at you, and dive bombs at you, towers at you, mega flares at you, and you survive that and Bahamut does exa flare on you, and then you cry a little bit. And then he summons his friends again. Now this part is really easy. It's just dive bombs, plus earth shakers, plus twisters, plus mega flare, plus towers, plus heavens fall, and then you go back to Twintania and the fight starts again.